In this video, I am going to give you a sneaky peek into my pill collection. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome back to the Wednesday personal video. Last week I couldn't make one. I was very late coming in back from work and I just didn't have time. It was either video or eat and I went for eating. Anyway, today I am a bit pushed for ideas. I know I have to continue the Draw My Life series, but I wanted to um, do a video that I saw or copy a video that I saw by this wonderful um, person oh, here. Okay, called, um, let me get, Jessica Keldrad Fozan. Anyway, um, she had a look at her pill collection, the the tablets that she took every day to keep fit and healthy. And I thought, I know, I can do that. I will do the same. Remember, if you have liked this video or any of the videos on this channel, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I'm currently at something like 486 subs. I'm getting so close to the magical 500 when I will be doing a video for you in my giraffe onesie. Yes, at, oh, and a dance. I don't know which one yet, but definitely a dance. So yeah, press that sub button. And if you would provide, like to provide some additional um, support, if you know what I mean, then you can find the link to my Patreon page down below. Okay, let's get on with it. Now, can I please remind you that with these videos, I try to do it in one take. So wish me luck. I've got all my tablets down here, all my medication, and I'm going to share it with you. Now, before I say anything, please remember that all medicines are drugs, but not all drugs are medicines. And please, I am no professional doctor or pharmacist. So please always consult your doctor and pharmacist before going on to tablets. OK, then here we go. Now, a lot of these tablets are related to my anxiety and my OCD and things like that. And perhaps the one of the most and well, there's going to be some product placement, but just just ignore it. You know, something like this is my go-to. I don't drink it or anything, but it is absolutely fantastic because I can squirt it on my hands and clean my hands whenever I touch something, somebody, something touches me, if somebody chases, um, shakes my hand or anything like that. I must have some of this with me at all time um, because I like to then wash my hands and keep it clean. So this is probably hand wash is my first sort of like necessity. Now then, um, you, you have to learn, uh, you have to know a lot about me to sort of like understand and um, why I take some of the tablets. And one of the things I have, I have atypical facial neuralgia. Now, basically what that means is that the nerve down this side of my face fires off randomly and puts as if I'm getting electric shock down the side of my face. Now, I did do a video about it and I'll put it in the links below. But yeah, so one of the things that somebody said to me that might help um, are B12 um, tablets. So I do have a whole load of B12 tablets. Yet yeah, they're, they're absolutely tiny. I should actually show you the, the tablets, I guess, uh, rather than the box. And uh, they, they look a, bit, a little bit nondescript. Will it focus? Focus. Hmm? Focusing on my hand. Oh, never mind. Anyway, they're, they're very nondescript, but I take one every day. I've actually got a year's worth there and B12 is meant to be good for the um, the the sheath round the nerve. And so that's why I take those. Um, now, coupled with that, coupled with that, still with my face, I have some tablets and they're actually called um, amitriptyline. Now, amitriptyline is a, these are film coated. Amitriptyline is an antidepressant, but I don't take in huge quantities. I only have four a day. And what that does is that it relaxes the nerve in my face. Oh, well, that's what I think it does. Anyway, as long as I'm on it, then the, the pain's not too bad. And if it does 
get really bad, then um, it's um, it, the amitriptyline sort of like dulls it a bit. I have to say that I have um, neurofen, uh, no, not neurofen, ibuprofen as well. That often helps if it starts to sort of like flare up. I take that uh, as well. But mainly for my face, it's B12 tablets, amitriptyline and ibuprofen if and when I need it. So yeah, amitriptyline, I'm actually on um, four tablets every day, every day. They make me very drowsy and they dry my mouth out. Is this... This is all the saliva got and sucked straight out of it. Now, the other condition that I have, I have um, IBS, okay then, and this can be extremely painful. So I do have something known as buscapan. And so I actually get this on repeat prescription um, because I actually take um, eight tablet <laughs> i know it sounds dreadful doesn't it eight tablets a day i take two four times a day and that stops my gut contracting and giving me the pain um a lot of the time when i'm actually away from work i can actually wean myself off it but sure as i get back into work i think stress and anxiety flare up and it, it just comes back again so i start off with about two tablets a day then soon soon get up to eight uh, as well i'm afraid so yeah so ibibus um ibibuscapan buscapan i take for um ibs pain i also have a really low fiber diet so my gut cannot deal with a huge amount of fiber so i can't eat anything like or bran or branny stuff i can't eat the um skin off potatoes i can't have oats I can't have um, peel of fruit or anything like that. I can't take, have any green vegetables. Um, but because I'm on such a low fiber diet, I actually supplement it. And I have something known as fiber gel. Yeah, and fiber gel is a, a sort of like soluble fiber, I think it is, that actually doesn't set off my um, IBS, but causes all the, my gut movements to be smooth. I will leave it there and say no more about that. Now, um, the other thing is I, I'm absolutely constantly afraid and anxious about getting ill. It's one of the things that really sort of like sets my anxiety off, even to the stage that if people say that they're um, ill or if they say that they are not well, then my anxiety will set off and I'll become very stressed. Hence the constant washing hands. But somebody once told me that zinc tablets are good. And they, they look, there's tiny little white tablets. So I actually take one of those a day. Um, so, and this is in the hope of um, staying off any nasty um, cold viruses or stomach upsets or anything like that and because i like routine and regular things i sort of like now i'm to the stage that if i don't take a zinc tablet then i think i'm going to get ill which is probably ludicrous but uh, really and truly in my brain it's it's just there i just have to take them now coupled with that i do take um some multivitamins as well because i am of the slightly older age group yeah and i think i need it plus my diet is terrible so yeah so i have some um, vitamins as well now the other thing that i do have and you might remember that i'm a vegetarian slash vegan and so one of the um, things that I can't have a lot of in my diet is omega-3 because mainly it comes from oily fish, I think, like mackerel and things like that. So I do take some omega-3 tablets for vegetarians and vegans. Um, they're not cod liver oil tablets, obviously, but they are tablets. Um, and I only take, I take one of those uh, a week, I think, maybe two. I sort of like view it that, you know, once a week I might have fish, so pop one in and that's it. Now, the other thing I need to have um, is in this bottle, and this is um, something called Gaviscon, and Gaviscon um, is, helps to reduce heartburn. So my stomach produces a lot of acid, 
and so uh, when I go to sleep I actually have four pillows to try to keep me myself upright because if I lie flat then halfway through the night all the acid reflux or like comes up in my throat and I wake up and go like that or have to spit it out somewhere so I take Gaviscon on a regular basis um, I tend to take um, two to four uh, um, two to four so like um, five millimeter spoons of it um, uh, on the evening or just before I go to bed uh, which helps it I can have the tablets as well but I actually prefer supping the um, liquid it's aniseed and it's very nice yeah so that's my tablet regime um, it might seem that I actually rattle a lot and sometimes I feel I do but I think the other thing to remember is that it's all tied up with my anxiety as well in the sense that I get to the point that I sort of like think mm, did I take my zinc no I'm going to get ill and things like that so it, it's it is sort of like all connected and the same with um, IBS I mean if I don't take my buscapan then I will be in agony um, with it so that's a really good choice anyway I have hope you've enjoyed that personal trip down my into my medicine cabinet and um, please consider subscribing to the channel it would be fantastic if you do and yeah and don't forget to press that bell button because then you will get a notification when my next um, video goes live and the next video will be I think we have to do 18 to 21 in the draw my life I still haven't found my ID cards but I will make a conscious effort to find them so I can share with them the pictures okay then share with you the pictures them what am I talking about anyway thanks for watching today I hope that gives you a, a sneaky peek into the personal life of myself until next time have fun and remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind and I will catch you all later see ya bye